Hi, my name is Mary Spender and welcome to today's episode. I'm going to title this opening segment, Food for Thought. Although, sadly, no food is involved and the thought is not yet fully formed. And it's something that I want to get your input on in the comments below. I expected myself at this point of this daily episode series bonanza, whatever you you would like to call it, I thought two things would have happened. I thought I would have run out of ideas and burnt out. And ironically, I actually think this deadline every day has forced me to be more creative than I ever have been and more productive than I ever have been. So I've been thinking on that as to how that has happened. The key to all of this, and I think the key to a creative career, when you are relying on your creativity to support yourself, is to have lots of different avenues. I'm not talking about streams of income, although that's important, that's that's another video entirely. It's more having many different avenues to keep yourself interested. So yes, I'm a singer-songwriter, but I actually see my music as my side hustle. I don't put any pressure on music to help me run my business. So I make YouTube videos, I'm on social media, I have a newsletter, I have a merch store, I have all these other things that actually involve a lot of creativity behind them. Then when you look at my YouTube channel, you never know and I never know (laughs) what to expect. It could be a song, it could be a cover, so it could be an original song, it could be a cover, It could be an interview, it could be a video essay, it could be a QA and a session from my patrons, it could be about a pedal, it could be about a guitar, it could be about my experiences on something, it could be about music copyright. You never really know, and I think I'm missing a few strands of what I love to do. But that is how I think I'm able to keep on doing this. And I always want to find things that make my heart sing when it comes to making videos. I don't just want to make videos for the sake of making a video. I want to have that moment of inspiration when I have like jotted down maybe a few ideas over the days before and then looked at them and just not found not found what I'm looking for and then see an idea and just feel a flutter. And when I think back to December which wasn't all that long ago. I think I was burnt out then. And I was uploading very little. I wasn't being uh, a songwriter. I was finding a a huge lack of inspiration in music, music making. And now I've been more productive than ever. So, okay, so a few things that I have put into place to help me do this. Feeling that fear is not very healthy. So if I actually um, sat down and had to force a video out, I'm not sure I'd actually be able to do it. So often I step away, I breathe, I exercise. And something I've done today that brought me so much joy was go out cycling because we had a pocket of sun, a, a window of sun today. And it was freezing, but it was the best thing I could have done to just reinvigorate and and see some of the countryside around where I live while we are, you know, in lockdown 3.0. So the other thing that I do to help execute on the ideas that I have is capture them. Wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, Obviously, we all have our phones. That's a great way of capturing ideas. That's exactly how I've written this video. Um, have a way, have a, have a notepad, have a napkin, have a pen on you at all times. Because when you're not trying to solve a problem, that's when ideas actually come about. So have you ever had an incredible idea in the shower? That's a great place to have ideas. When you're out driving, when you are having a conversation about something else and talking around a subject, 
that's when those ideas happen and form. And I think that's really important to remember. Jumping on Zoom right now with some friends of mine just for conversations about music, about business, and then about personal lives. Just very, very important to keep my motivation up and keep creativity just pouring out of me. So yes, so I mentioned execution, as in carrying out a plan, order of order, or course of action. And that is the most important part. Ideas are nothing without execution. You can have the best business idea you've ever had, but if you don't sit down and build that business, if you don't sit down and write that song, if you don't sit down and, and write that novel, then that idea is absolutely worthless. So execution is, is the key to it all. Then <laughs> you have to give yourself a deadline. My deadline currently is daily. But every time I've been uploading a weekly video, that video has taken up that whole week. So there are some real mental obstacles around creativity that I just kind of want to voice and, and ask your help with and see what you're going through. Please write it down in the comments. Please don't be shy. But then also note down some of the things that help you. I try and relax into whatever I'm doing. I try and stay open-minded. <laughs> I try and sleep. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes I'm just wired and I feel nervous about what's going to happen and whether I'm just going to be, just suffer a drought of ideas. But then something I've done this week is write a bad song. I've written a terrible song this week. It's so bad. I'm actually proud of how bad it is. The chords are boring. The lyrics are so mediocre and tame. The story, there is no story to it, but it was something I had to do. And now I feel really happy that it's just out of my system. And I was going through my normal songwriting process with it. I was actually like, I was humming it and it was going through my head and I was like, hmm, okay, well maybe, maybe I could make this better. And then I just realized, I was like, oh, I don't have to make it better it can just disappear off into the ether. I've actually, you know, still documented it. Still, um, I've still captured it. So I've got the recording on my phone. I've got the lyrics on Notion. Yes, I'm one of those YouTubers now using Notion to literally run my entire life, including my songwriting life. But I was just, I feel like all this momentum of creating daily has just got me so excited about everything else. So yeah, and so the other thing, as I have mentioned, is um, doing something else, doing something else entirely. Cooking. Cooking and exercising are my things right now that I'm just stepping away from the desk, stepping away from forcing myself to finish something and just going off and doing something else. So... <laughs> There is, a, there is my segment, Food for Thought. <laughs> I really, really hope it just sparks something in you. I hope you share something in the comments below. Any best practices that you are using to just keep on being creative in such a strange time. I have my random number generator up because it is time for Patreon of the day. So I'm going to generate a number. 591. Who is 591? <laughs> okay, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> you're genuinely not going to believe this. Adam Neely, <laughs> you are my Patreon of the day. Thanks for featuring in yesterday's video. Um, I should probably choose someone else. Not that I, I, I don't love you dearly, Adam, um, but I feel... <laughs> okay, that's, that is honestly how, um, how spontaneous this segment is. Okay, Another patron of the day. Sorry, Adam. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick Adam off patron of the day. He's a darling. But Joseph May, you are replacing Adam Neely as patron of the day. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> um, to everyone else, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know what you think in the comments below. But otherwise, I will see you very soon. Sorry, Adam.